Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 10 of Hardcore Minecraft. I did make some changes in the village, but that's all going to be saved for next episode when we do the entire overhaul. This episode is focusing on these pumpkins. First, we have to make the jack-o'-lantern. Well, I guess, is that a, considered a jack-o'-lantern? And then it's a lighted jack-o'-lantern? Or is that just a carved pumpkin like that? That's a carved pumpkin. <laughs> and then it becomes a jack-o'-lantern. Um, and with Halloween happening this week, happy Halloween, first of all. But the thing that we're going for in this episode is recreating this. And if you've been around on my channel, you've seen me build several things so far pretty big. So I'm trying to come up with my color palette here to be able to do something different with texture and color utilizing all orange blocks, which I end up changing this palette a handful of times because a lot of things just don't end up feeling right. But this is what I start with initially. And I bring in some wood to complement the normal sand color and the brown color. And that was what I kind of had selected for the orange. Um, the acacia planks seem like they would be really good for those deeper colors. And then just kind of measuring out how long it was. And I knew, I've already cleared some of these trees out, but I knew it needed to go in my swamp biome. That was just the best place that made the most sense to put a giant pumpkin for Halloween. And so begins the long process, how it goes in any build. Because I don't take anything and start it in creative or, you know, I'm not following any tutorials on anything that I've built thus far, um, besides maybe a mob farm that doesn't work anyway, but <laughs> I am having to do this from scratch, I guess, if that's the right way to put it. But it's looking at the pumpkin, coming over, counting what's going where, trying to figure out what color I'm going to represent with what block. I wasn't really sure about the honey blocks there. And then I decided I think I need to do terracotta instead of the honey blocks. I just don't think the transparent part of that worked well. So terracotta was our next option to replace the honey. But yeah, I, I'm having to go block by block. And then this is where I made the decision to actually try to make the acacia wood terracotta. And then I end up changing it again to where I make the darkest color brown wool and then terracotta. I get rid of the honey block. It's just a whole process as you see me put some blocks down and step back and you can start seeing like the mouth and the start of the eye and I was just counting up blocks and organizing them in my inventory and then kind of going up per block trying to do an entire row at once and this was really difficult I have to be honest it wasn't like the bee it wasn't like the sheep where everything seemed like it was easier to do within the same color and texture there's so many different shades and colors and I wanted to give it the texture and then I knew I needed to just brave in to go get glowstone. I end up coming back into the nether as well because I need shroom lights but you'll see that part later. Um, but yeah I have a ruined portal below me to behind me is kind of like where I come into the nether. I came down because I was really sure I wanted to see if I could start digging down here by where I came into the nether to be able to start digging around for some ancient debris and I was determined that I wasn't going to leave this time until I found some and we do oh and I slow mode that to show 644 days but here is where we sh we found our uh, first ancient debris So we got our achievement hidden in the depths. And then there is our second piece. So then I felt okay to leave for now, knowing I would have to come back for shroom lights later. 
but I just wanted to add these around the interior base of the build behind the leaves. Um, and then I made the decision to change out the normal uh, sand for yellow glass. And that's when the shroom lights kind of like came into an idea is I want those sections to actually be illuminated like they are on the jack-o'-lantern. So that was kind of my way of being able to represent that. But like I was saying, this pumpkin was hard. I really did not like it. I don't even know if I like it now in the end. Just the colors and textures, don't worry, the pumpkins go. I was trying to add some more texture, but I felt like that was too much texture and the colors are just a little too much. Um, but yeah, I ended up changing the pumpkins, but this was just hard to figure out what was okay texture wise when I stepped back. But this is kind of how I organized each line by getting as many pieces that I knew I would need and then getting to the top, jumping down, finding the next line on the pumpkin and so on and so forth around the pumpkin. But I still, this is where I was like, I really don't like the pumpkins. I really, really don't like them. But it was just a lot of this repeating of looking at it. Like I said, don't worry. I changed out the pumpkins. But <laughs> just looking at it and trying to figure out, you know, what looks okay. It was hard. I didn't like it. It's just a lot of texture and color difference for sure. And step back after I got even more done. And I still am not sure about it. <laughs> But this comes in to be the last row here. I felt like I should keep going with the palette that I had until I could complete this entire front face of the pumpkin and then make my decision if I felt like I needed to change the colors out for anything different. So we'll step back and take a look at it here in a second. I love when you miss the water. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my MLG buckets here. I only ever landed like two out of the 20 I did, but you know, it's a start. So here is the finished part of the front of the face with everything, and I still don't like it. <laughs> here we are back in the nether. This is kind of where I come in, and I saw that there is a bastion here. Didn't even notice that the first several times I had come in. So I've got a bastion. Got that ruined portal right there. And then while I was digging under the ground with the ancient debris, I was checking, you know, the F3 to see if there was any different biomes above me. And I saw that there is a warped forest. Um, I was trying to dig to it this way, but I just kept hitting um, pockets of lava everywhere, like lakes of lava. So I ended up having to go up top to kind of get that worked out a bit different. We're on day 650 there. And this is where I had come up and I'm digging and found this huge open gap. So we gotta go across it and we keep digging through. I just at what was not quite brave enough at this point to be running over the top of everything. But here is our warped forest. And you'll see here in a little bit as I start going out and creating a way to get across, there is actually a fortress. And this is only like two or 300 blocks from where I came in. But right there to the side, if you can see on the right hand side, um, there's a fortress and I spot it right here. Wild. So I know where my fortress is already. 
but I knew I wanted to come in here and get some shroom lights and this forest directly connects to um, the fortress so some trip I'll come back in here on one of the episodes and hit the bastion and hit the forest and of course you guys will get to see all of that either in a live stream or of course in an episode either way but had to collect some shroom lights. I kind of underestimated how many of these I would need. I think I end up using almost 40 for the small eyes in the mouth of the pumpkin, but it's because I go around because I do a couple layers of glass backwards to try to dull the yellow effect since that's a, supposed to be the lightest part of the jack-o'-lantern. I kind of have to adjust with the glass and I feel like I figured it out but we're out with our shroom lights and we're running back time to start placing them into the glass sections so we can see how it works and see how it looks to be honest And here's our first look at it with the shroom lights in, with it getting dark. And I feel like that was 100% the right decision because I think it needs to glow just like the jack-o'-lantern does. And this is where I am like, the pumpkin's gotta go. The pumpkins will become terracotta. The terracotta currently will become the brown wool. And I really wanted to avoid using brown because I wanted to use everything as orange. But I also knew that um, it just needed the texture difference and the pumpkins wasn't the way to get like a different color or texture. I do a section and then I step back and then I do a section and then I step back and then I just make the full-on commitment to go forward with it because as much as I would have loved to incorporate pumpkins like this it just does not look good so it's that bottom right corner with the brown I'm like, yeah, the pumpkins have to go. <laughs> but honestly, I couldn't think, like, I had made, uh, obviously you see the orange um, concrete powder. The orange concrete was too orange, and the same with the orange wool. I used it pretty sparingly in here, but it's just because it's, I felt like it was too orange. But then I put white glass and then the yellow glass and then the shroom lights. And this was me counting out like how many more I needed to go around the edges so that you couldn't see through the glass like you can here because you could see the sky through it around the edges. But I was semi-happy with where the progress of everything was going. And then I moved the pumpkin in the chest over here to start going around this side because I got the other two sides done. But then I also decided it's time to make a bunch of carved pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns to start decorating around this space for when I get the entire pumpkin done, which shh, I don't actually do. I'm missing the back like third of the pumpkin, just like on my big sheep over there behind my honeycomb with my big giant flowers. The back half of it's not done, but this is where I add in all the details. The drip leaf, I add some sugar cane, I grow some jungle trees in the back, and this is where I'm going to end this episode. Happy Halloween, guys. Hopefully you like my pumpkin. I feel like it needs more work, and I will continue to work on it a bit. 
but I'm gonna let this outro play with it just naturally darkening and you get to see it in its full glory. But I'll see you guys in the next hardcore.